Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. So Henry Cavill spoke to Josh Horowitz of the Happy and Confused podcast. Now, he did speak Superman. He didn't say, he didn't speak about Superman in any great detail, but it was great to see Henry so happy and excited for the future of Superman. Now, Zack Snyder, while this question and answer session was happening, did say on the internet that Henry Cavill is the greatest Superman ever. Henry did respond on this live podcast by saying that Zack's a great guy and he's so grateful to Zack for making him Superman and everything that he's done for him. So mutual respect from the two men. This doesn't mean that Zack Snyder is going to be involved going forward in the DC Extended Universe or the DC Universe as it's now being labelled or in the next Superman movie. So Henry was asked if how far in the development of this Superman movie they're in. Is there a, you know, is there a director, a writer attached? He said, you know, I can't tell you that. This is what I think. I think they're further along in the process to end than anyone actually thinks. I think there is a writer-director attached, that's for sure. Who that is, is anybody's guess. You can, you know, you could pick 20, you know, well-known writer-directors and say, it could be them. It could be anyone. It's pretty clear that Henry Cavill has a lot more riding on this than just being an actor playing Clark Cal and Superman. He's part of this development process. He's been part of the decision on who's going to write and direct this movie and what what Superman is going to be going forward. He said he never lost hope in the past five years that he would play Superman again. I must admit I thought Henry would have a lot more to say. I was surprised but what it looks like is going forward this is going to be the Zaslav way. Talk positively. Be excited. You know, no kind of negative conversations. We've seen it with Black Adam and their marketing. And this is what we're going to be doing going forward. It looks like. And so he said he's looking forward to, you know, creating a joyful Superman going forward. Well, that isn't really a Zack Snyder Superman. Is it? So even though we don't know what they're planning, they're certainly going to be looking at Superman through the lens of the comic books and taking him from page to screen like they did with Black Adam. Black Adam is very comic book accurate. So it was great to hear from Henry, but he didn't say anything we didn't know before. But he did say when he was given the opportunity to come back as Superman, he couldn't even tell the people on The Witcher production what he was doing. So I believe, even though I don't think in this interview Henry mentioned the details of this, if you remember rightly, it was rumoured by Deadline.com that he would come to Comic-Con San Diego and talk about his Superman future. It's clear that publication knew something. Something was going on at that time. About a week or so afterwards, it was reported that Henry had COVID and he had to stop you know, working on The Witcher season three. So it's clear that was probably for more further than the truth, right? He didn't probably have COVID. He, w he went off to shoot his Superman sequence. Now, what I like about that Superman sequence is it's not overly, hello, I'm Superman, I'm smiling and I'm happy and I'm going to crack a joke. No, he's proper comic book Superman in that moment. He's very majestic. He's very calm when he talks to Black Adam and says that we need to talk. So for me, even though they must have had to do that post credit scene really quickly, it's something that they deeply thought about doing. And Superman comes off really well in that scene. It really works. So they have a plan for Superman going forward in the DC Universe. What that plan is, nobody knows. But he's definitely going to be a lot more comic book accurate. So, yeah, it was great to hear from Henry, but I don't think we know any more going forward either other than Henry is back as Superman 
A Superman movie is in development and they're not ready to speak about the details of that movie. By the way, I don't think it's going to be that long until we hear full details of this movie. The villain, the structure of the story, if they're bringing back the original cast from Man of Steel as well, or if this is another timeline Flashpoint Superman, or just an Elseworlds Superman. We don't know what's going on. I like that. I don't need to know what's going on right now. All I need to know, like all you need to know, is that Henry Cavill is back as Superman. And Twitter, on my timeline, uh, when he was doing this um, you know, live podcast, was a, a, a blaze. And it's not like they had much to feed off. Henry didn't really deliver any details in the future of Superman, apart from saying that he's looking forward to delivering a joyful Superman. So it's clear that Henry is really going, you know, look, I'm back as Superman, but this is going to be a joyful, hopeful Superman. This is going to be a more faithful adaption of Superman from the comics. Now, Henry spoke about Superman to a bunch of fans uh, a few years ago when they, uh, you know, they asked him what's next after Justice League, or should I say Justice League? And he said, well, what do you think? What do you want to happen next? And um, he, he even kind of name dropped a few graphic novels as well. So I think they will look to adapt a graphic novel. It's something that Henry is really passionate about as well. Henry read a lot of the comics before he played Superman in Man of Steel. He said yesterday that this is a character that means a hell of a lot for him. He also chose um, the Superman suit very carefully. He liked the nostalgia that the costume he wore represented. So, and Superman is a very nostalgic character. Let's be absolutely clear about that. And so you can't mess about with him. He has to be this wish fulfillment character. You don't make a movie about Santa Claus. All right, you do. You do. There's a couple of movies out there where Santa Claus is a dick. But they were done as comedies. They were done as ironic. But the movies about Santa Claus that really work, you know, are the ones with Dudley Moore in it. Um, I forgot what it was called, that film. And you've got like the one with um, Sir Richard Attenborough, Mir the Miracle of 34th Street reboot. Um, and, 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 and obviously the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Those films have really, really worked through time. And why do I keep on mentioning Santa Claus? Because Santa is wish fulfillment. And so is Superman. As I keep on saying, Henry Cavill is passionate about this. So going forward, it's clear we're going to go in the opposite direction from the Snyderverse. Whether this is still the same Superman remains to be seen. I'm very, very open-minded about this. But all you need to know is Henry Cavill is back as Superman and it's extremely exciting. I now want to discuss the structure at WB connected to DC and how it's going to work. So very briefly, I want to talk about this because there seems to be a bit of confusion, especially with people that are concerned that James Gunn is now leading the new DC studios alongside Peter Safran, by the way. But here's the structure. David Zaslav is the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery. Mike DeLuca and Pam Adby are the co-chairs of Warner Brothers Pictures. Some fans are concerned are kind of confused about this. They think that Gunn and Safran are now running WB Pictures. No. So the structure is, David Zaslav is the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery. Pam Abbey, Mike DeLuca are the co-chairs of Warner Brothers Pictures. And James Gunn and Peter Safran are the co-chairs of DC Studios. What does co-chairs mean? Literally, it means they're running those departments. Now, in terms of David Zaslav as the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, he's in charge. No decision can be made at DC without him ratifying it. So James Gunn and Peter Safran can have these big plans, which they're going to have. But when you hear reports saying they have to report directly to Warner Brothers Discovery CEO, David Zaslav, that's exactly what they have to do. Why do you think that is? They can't get 
anything green lit unless Zaslav green lights it. A green light means he says A-OK. -okay. So for example, yesterday we found out that the Green Lantern Corps series that was going to be on HBO Max via the Hamadaverse is now being shelved. And that showrunner, Seth Graham Smith, is it, I think, ha has moved on. So that vision of that show is dead. You were also told that Greg Belanti will be redeveloping that show into a Jon Stewart show. And everyone's getting really, really excited. I spoke about this yesterday, but there seems to be a lot of confusion on this. So I'm going to make my position clear. You may be bored of me yesterday on Twitter repeating myself because you people simply can't read through the Hollywood Reporter's bullshit. Right, so it is true, as I said to you, that the Green Lantern car show on HBO Max was never going to happen. I told you that. And nobody believed me. We kept on getting more reports that it was definitely happening. And because it was a complex show, that's why it's taken so long. Bullshit. That's not why it's taken so long. It is not happening. Now, what's going on with this redevelopment of a Jon Stewart show? Well, don't forget that Greg Belanti was the producer and the production company attached to the Green Lantern Corps show that's now been shelved. So what you're seeing from the Hollywood Reporter and other journalists is blushes saving. They're saving Greg Belanti's blushes. He's the guy who brought you the Arrowverse, the Green Lantern movie that flopped. So this guy is a very powerful producer in Hollywood. So they're trying to save his blushes. So they're making it look like that a Jon Stewart show is being redeveloped. Yes, redeveloped means that he's going to have to pitch that to Zaslav. And it is my feeling that Zaslav will reject it. I'll tell you why in a moment. I also believe this is going to be kind of the first move of a continuing move to remove Greg Belanti from Warner Brothers Television and everything Warner Brothers. He's had his day. Zaslav has asked many, many people and he's going to be one of them. So why don't I believe that there's going to be a Jon Stewart Green Lantern show like, like it's being reported? Because I believe that David Zaslav doesn't believe that spending huge budgets on streaming and on HBO Max is fit for purpose. It doesn't work, and he knows that. But he knows that Green Lantern, like I know, is our Star Wars in the DC Universe. And cinematically, it has huge potential. So when this redeveloped Jon Stewart show is pitched to him, he's going to say, I'm very sorry, Greg Belanti. I'm not going the streaming route. I'm not going, not with DC. So we're planning to create this um, Green Lantern franchise via this new DC Studios and DC Universe via the theatrical system. So that's what they're going to do. Green Lantern is going to have a string of movies on the big screen and there'll be no Jon Stewart show. You may be saying, Mick, how do you know this? I know this because I know how the industry works. When something's been shelved and in a way someone like Greg Belanti, who's a prolific producer, gets their ego dented, they try and say something like, yeah, well, don't worry, the original cast will be reattached eventually, because they're not attached anymore to this new redeveloped John Stewart show. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. There is no, there is no redeveloped John Stewart show. It's something Bel Belanti wants to pitch to the studio, which I believe they will reject. It's as simple as that. Now, the months and days coming, um, you know, we'll find out if my, my hunch is right. Or if the journalists are right, I don't believe you will ever see a Green Lantern John Stewart show on HBO Max or any Green Lantern TV show going forward. I believe that what we're going to get is a string of movies. And I think that's the right way to go. And, you know, we're moving away from HBO Max. The Hamadaverse was going full on, full on streaming with the DCEU. And most of its stuff was going to be via the DCEU. A bad decision. Everything that Zaslav's done since he's come in has been note for note, right and correct, in protecting the DC brand. This has been Movies TV Mad. I admit your host with the most just ask your girlfriends and your wife. Please like, share, comment, subscribe.
hit the notification bell so you never miss this beautiful perfection. And I'll see you again in the next video. Until we see each other again, goodbye, au revoir, au revoir.